Now Tanjiro actually have saved this young girl with the guy, which early in the last episode, actually harassing her about wanting to marry her, which hers, I mean, which she actually doesn't want to marry him because he actually is freaking her out, which Tanjiro actually stops him from harassing her, which he actually blames him for ruining his chance on getting a wife, which he is wearing a Demon Slayer cult outfit, which he actually is a member, which earlier in the last episode, he was one of the few who actually made it to the final selection, which he actually introduced himself as Sinisu, I mean, sorry, Sinisu Agasuma, and he actually is a member of it, which he actually had Tanjiro to be responsible for protecting him until he gets married, which they're now actually headed to their next mission together, which Nisu, I mean, sorry, Nis, I mean, Nisu actually walking together with Tanjiro, which the two actually headed to the same mission together, which we see Nisu actually have actually ate some food together, which he actually was alerted by the crow to hurry up, which Ninisu is actually, well, I don't want to actually to sound rude or actually be hurtful, but I think it, he actually is afraid, even though he actually say he was weak, that's why he's always acting like a coward, but we've seen the two actually headed to a house where we've seen two kids actually say their older brother was actually abducted by a demon, which they actually saw the brother actually landed on the floor after being crashed outside the window, which Ninisu actually heard drumming inside, which Tanjiro is going to head inside, and after feeling a little bit guilty, Ninisu actually tags along, which he's going to leave Nesuko in the box with the twins inside, which Ninisu actually say that he's going to protect him, but Tanjiro say that he actually suffered a broken rib and a broken leg during his last fight, so I don't think he can actually protect Ninisu. But actually, he actually decided to freak out when he heard that Tanjiro actually is injured. Which the twins actually came inside after they heard scratching outside the box. Which Ninisu actually puts Tanjiro and the little sister inside a room. But all of a sudden, the room actually decided to shift like a dimensional trap. Which we seen how all of this actually happened and the little sister introduced herself as Tim Tiruku in Tiruko in which the demon actually appeared which Ninisu actually looking for Tanjiro and Tiruko which the brother actually say is he really pathetic which he actually looking through the different rooms until he actually came across one room where he actually saw a guy wearing a board head which he actually ran out actually trying to find the demon which he actually showing off his cowardness in front of the brother which the demon is actually trying to fight Tanjiro and then he actually using the drums to 
move the house around. And soon as he's getting ready to fight the demon, here comes the guy with a boar head actually crash in. In which he's also have two Nishin Rin swords, but they all actually have chips blade, I mean chips swords. So is he going to fight a demon with Tanjiro? We'll find out soon. Now Tanjiro actually met his new friend Ninisu, which he actually is like a coward, which he actually is a a comic relief at best. And also, he also actually met the guy, the boarhead, which we get to his name sooner. So, we're actually going to see how they're going to defeat the demon on their mission together on the next episode next weekend. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment what you think about the episode. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr, and like my Facebook page. Until then, this is Anime Guy Jordan here saying sign out. Laters!